वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज गो फाइनाइट टोपोलॉजी फर्स्ट वी डिफाइन दिस टोपोलॉजी एंड देन वी ट्राई टू प्रूव दिस टोपोलॉजी को फाइनाइट टोपोलॉजी इज डिफाइंड एज लेट एक्स बी अ नॉन एम्प्टी सेट एंड सपोज दैट टॉक कंसिस्ट ऑफ फाइव एंड ऑल सबसेट्स ऑफ एक्स हुज कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स आर फाइनाइट देन टॉ इज अ टोपोलॉजी ऑन एक्स This topology is called cofinite topology. Cofinite topology is the topology that consists of phi and those subsets of a set whose complements are finite. Now we prove that uh, now we prove this topology as there are three conditions for a topology. We prove that cofinite topology satisfies all three conditions of a topology now we prove these conditions one by one so for the first condition we prove that intersection of finite elements of ta belongs to ta so first property is that o1 o2 O three up to so on. O n belongs to Ta. Now we prove that intersection of these elements of Ta must belongs to Ta. Now we discuss two cases. If O one intersection O two. intersection up to so on intersection o n is equal to phi then o1 intersection o2 intersection up to so on intersection o n belongs to ta the reason is since phi belongs to ta as we have defined that ta consists of phi and those subsets of x whose complements are finite so if this intersection is equal to empty set then this intersection must belongs to ta as phi is a member of ta now we discuss second case when this intersection is non empty if o1 intersection o2 intersection up to so on intersection o n is not equal to phi if this intersection is not equal to phi or non empty which implies each of the <coughs> member o1 o2 up to so on o n is non empty which implies o1 is not equal to phi o2 is not equal to phi up to so on o n is non empty that is not equal to phi as o1 o2 up to so on o n belongs to ta and these members are non empty which implies complement of these elements o1 or member of ta is finite o1 complement is equal to finite set Similarly, O2 complement is again finite set. Up to so on. O N complement. O N complement is finite. Now we prove that this intersection. again belongs to ta if this intersection is non empty so we prove that complement of this finite intersection is finite so o1 intersection o2 intersection up to so on intersection o n whole complement this can be written as o1 complement a union o2 complement a union up to so on a union o n complement sense by de morgan's law 
sense by de morgan law on de morgan law now as o1 complement is finite o2 complement is finite up to so on o n complement is finite so this is equal to finite set union finite set union up to so on union finite set set and we know that union of finite set is again a finite side so this is equal to a finite set finite set or finite so intersection of o1 o2 up to so on on complement is finite which implies o1 intersection o2 intersection up to so on on belongs to tau so in both cases we have proved that if this intersection is empty then it belongs to tau if this intersection is non empty again this intersection belongs to tau so first condition of topology is satisfied now we move to the second condition which we prove that arbitrary union of members of tau belongs to tau for second condition let u alpha such that alpha belongs to omega be collection of members of tau collection of members of tau members of this is an arbitrary collection now we prove that union of these members uh, i write it as o alpha let o alpha such that alpha belongs to omega b collection of members of tau now we prove that a union of this arbitrary collection again belongs to tau again we check two conditions if this arbitrary union is equal uh, is empty then it belongs to tau and if this arbitrary union is non empty again this union must belongs to tau so if union alpha belongs to omega o alpha is equal to phi then union alpha belongs to omega o alpha belongs to tau the reason is since phi belongs to tau as phi is a member of tau now we check second conditions if second now we check second possibility when union alpha belongs to omega o alpha is non empty not equal to phi then if this union is non empty then at least one of at least one o alpha such that alpha belongs to indexing set is non empty is not equal to phi which implies o alpha complement is equal to finite set finite set so if this union is non empty then at least there is one o alpha which is a member of tau uh and that o alpha is non empty so if o alpha is non empty not equal to phi then as o alpha is member of tau so it its complement must be equal to a finite set now we prove that union of this arbitrary collection belongs to tau so if this is not equal to phi now we prove that union alpha belongs to omega o alpha whole complement is equal to intersection 
alpha belongs to omega o alpha complement again by using de morgan's law we can write it as this union alpha belongs to omega o alpha whole complement is equal to intersection alpha belongs to omega o alpha whole complement this is generalized de morgan law now this intersection is subset of each o alpha so we can write it as this is subset of o alpha complement as o alpha is a member uh, is one of the set among this intersection and as o alpha complement is finite which implies this is a subset of finite set that is so this union uh, complement of this union is subset of finite set which implies union alpha belongs to omega o alpha whole complement is a subset of finite set finite set so we can write it as which implies union alpha belongs to omega o alpha whole complement is equal to finite set. as subset of finite set is finite so we have proved that in both cases union alpha belongs to omega o alpha whole complement belongs to tau because the member of tau are fine are equal to phi are those elements whose complements are finite so we have proved that this arbitrary union a complement of this arbitrary union is finite so it must belongs to tau so we have proved that arbitrary union of members of tau belongs to tau now we prove loss conditions for autopology we prove that phi and x belongs to tau for third condition as phi belongs to tau by definition we have proved that phi belongs to tau so this is given now we prove that x also belongs to tau so x complement can be written as x complement is equal to x minus x and this is equal to phi so x complement is equal to phi is a finite set which implies x complement is equal to finite set finite set which implies x belongs to tau because tau consists of those elements whose complements are finite so x complement is phi so x belongs to tau so we can write which implies phi and x belongs to tau so all three conditions for autopologies are satisfied so the collection which consists of finite now those elements of a set whose complements are finite form a topology and this topology is called cofinite topology i hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much